Today we're going to announce that under certain circumstances, liquid water has been found on Mars. Now that running water has been found on Mars, and by the way, how freaking cool is that? We thought we'd share some other mind-bending facts about our space neighbor. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. Today we're counting down our top 5 most far out facts about Mars, the red planet that's making headlines across the world. Oh my god. I'm on Mars. Number 5. Mars has the largest dust storms in the solar system. I guarantee you that at some point, everything's gonna go south on you. Ready? And you're gonna say, this is it. In The Martian, a giant dust storm strands him on the planet. That's not just fiction. That's basically what a dust storm on Mars looks like. Mars whips up some truly intense dust storms, and most are so big that they can be seen from Earth using only a telescope. Once every three Mars years or so, the planet conjures up a global dust storm due to the radiative heat of the sun. These, as the name suggests, cover the entire planet and completely block out the sun, shrouding Mars in a terrifying and dirty darkness. And that's probably when the aliens come out. Number 4. In 2003, Mars made its closest approach to the Earth in 60,000 years. Using technology available today, the journey from Earth to the Red Planet would take about 180 days. Those of you alive in 2003, which we're assuming is a vast majority of you, can proudly claim that you lived through an important moment in the history of the solar system. At 9.51 Universal Time on August 27, 2003, Mars came the closest to Earth it's been since Neanderthal times. At a you can almost touch it distance of this many light years. That's about 56 million kilometers or about 35 million miles. Okay, it doesn't sound very close, but that's almost nothing in terms of space distance. And those prone to hysteria even feared that Mars' gravitational pull would yank Earth out of orbit, or make it tilt on its axis or something. However, the Sun is hundreds of times bigger than Mars, and is normally closer to the Earth than Mars is. And the Earth does just fine. So, as all of you over the age of 12 can attest, nothing catastrophic happened. I'm really close though. Oh, shut up, Tommy, it wasn't close, it wasn't close at all. Number 3. It houses the tallest peak in the entire solar system. I have the tallest mountain named Olympus Mons. It's the biggest volcano in our whole system. Not only is Mars the champion of dust storms, but it also has the distinction of having the tallest peak in the entire solar system. Olympus Mons, which is a volcano, is so high and flat that someone could literally be standing on it without realizing it, due to a combination of its immense size and the curvature of the planet. It's more than double the height of Mount Everest and rises roughly 15 miles, or 24 kilometers, above the mean surface level of Mars. It's got a cliff face that's 8 kilometers, or 5 miles, high. Imagine standing at the base of that. It covers roughly 30,000 square kilometers, or... You know what, can I just make a request that once we move to Mars, we use only miles, or kilometers? Okay, thanks. The metric system, for the love of God! Number 2. Pieces of Mars have fallen to Earth. Whoa! Whoa, it's a meteorite! Check it out, that's cool! Oh man, look at you. You're probably made out of some precious metal and everyone's gonna want you. Every once in a while, a small meteorite might fall from space and land in some farmer's field, making for a nice keepsake. And other times, they're freaking pieces that have fallen off of Mars. There have been at least five recorded occasions of people recovering pieces of Martian rock, likely blasted off by an asteroid strike, with the most recent falling in the Moroccan desert. 220 pounds of Martian rock are known to exist on Earth and each piece goes for about 10 times the price of gold, due to their immense rarity and the value they hold to scientists, who like to study the hell out of them. Steve's most promising find is in the microscope. If it contains nickel, it is most likely a meteorite. Number one, lichens and bacteria can also survive on Mars. Is there life on Mars? In the ever-important research of space colonization, scientists have begun to dabble in ideas regarding terraforming Mars. Researchers at the German Aerospace Center simulated a Martian environment and discovered that lichens and bacteria continued to thrive in the conditions. A huge step for theorizing the possibility of life on Mars. I am the greatest botanist on this planet. Even though terraforming Mars likely won't happen for thousands of years, Scientists have already devised various methods. Really? How it's, long uh, before we could turn Mars into well, some place where we could live? It, it, it is a fixer-upper of a planet. These include large mirrors that will reflect sunlight onto the surface. 
or smashing ammonia-heavy asteroids, if we can find any of them, into the planet to raise greenhouse gas levels. It's an exciting time to be alive, just not on Mars. So what do you think of our space neighbor? I and all my colleagues are extremely excited. Would you be interested in signing up for a manned mission? For more 10 times the price of gold top 10s and ammonia heavy top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Well, it ain't a meteor. Yeah, it is. It came out of the sky. Well, I'm sure it did, but it ain't no meteor. It's a big old frozen chunk of shit.